In this problem, we're going to be talking about function rules, word problems, and how to write a function given a word problem and how to use that to solve the problem. Okay, we're going to be talking about the problem on the left in this video. I'll make another video here in a second that does the problem on the right. Our first step to write a function rule to figure out an algebraic equation that we can pull from this word problem is to figure out what are the two things we're talking about in the relationship. What's the independent variable and what's the dependent variable? So let's read the problem. The Japanese bullet train that travels from Tokyo to Kyoto averages about 156 kilometers per hour. The distance from Tokyo to Kyoto is 380 kilometers. Write a function, part A, write a function to represent the distance remaining on the trip after a certain amount of time. So it looks like in this problem the two things that we're trying to relate are distance and time. We need a function that represents distance and time. Those are our x and y coordinates. So now we have to figure out which one is the independent variable, which one is the dependent variable. Which one is the x and which one is the y. And I'll give you a little tip here. Anytime you have time involved, 99% of the time, time, 99% of all occasions, time is going to be your x. Okay? That makes distance a y. So we need to write then a rule that represents, that relates distance and time. And if you pull back to your science classes and some of your past math classes, you know that distance is equal to rate times time or speed times time. So in this case, it looks like we can say something like this. Time is our x value. Distance is our y value. Okay? Y is equal to the rate, the speed, times the x value. Maybe we can use those letters instead. It really doesn't matter. Those are just placeholders. So if we want to do this in function notation, we're going to say that f of x is equal to our speed times our x value. So now we're almost in function notation. Now, let's take this and let's make it specific for our problem. If we go back and we look, we can say that then the train averages about 156 kilometers per hour. So we can take this 156 and we can replace the rate that we've been talking about. And so we say that f of x is equal to 156 kilometers per hour times the time, which is x. You might also see this because we're talking about time. Let's go ahead and mention it. I just want you to understand that which letter you use doesn't really make a difference in the problem. It doesn't change how you're going to do your calculations. So sometimes you'll see something like this. The distance that we travel after any given time, the distance based on the input of how long I've been traveling is equal to 156 times the time. These two things are saying the exact same thing. If I want to calculate the distance, I take 156 times how long I've been traveling. This says if I want to find the output, I take 156 times the input. Those are the same thing. So part A is done. This would probably be the best answer. This would show me that you really know what you're doing here. You're just going to use T because it stands for time. If you gave me this, it's absolutely correct, though. Okay? Part B says what is the value of the function for an input of 1.5 and what does it represent? So if I'm going to take an input of 1.5, that means I'm going to replace this now for part B with 1.5. Or I'm going to replace the T in the one that I've circled. So D for an input, the distance for an input of 1.5 is equal to 156 times 1.5. And 156 times 1.5, I use my calculator here. I'm going to try to do that one in my head today. Is equal to 234. And the question is, what does that represent? Well, I have to go back here then, and I have to understand that time is my input. So if I'm going to use 1.5 as my input, really what I'm talking about is a time then of 1.5 hours. And what it means then is that after 1.5 hours, I got an output, which is a distance of 234. I have traveled 234 kilometers, and that is the meaning of the calculation that we just did. If you, if you do that, then you're probably ready for the homework. If not, I'm going to do the example on the right in the next video that you see.